on air, online, on demand. Watch AFR when you want, where you want with CN8, the Comcast network. Also, we have heard a lot about radon, the second leading cause of lung cancer behind smoking. We usually think about it in our basements, but now some reports state that radon is in granite. If you have granite in your home, you may want to consider getting it tested for radon gas. In fact, the EPA says the only way to really know is through testing because you can't see radon, you can't smell it, you cannot taste it. Now the issue has been raised periodically, uh, really over the last 10 years or so, and now it's been being raised again, so we want to know more about it. To help us make heads or tails of this is Dr. Subash Rashat. He is the head of Heritech Inc. out of Cherry Hill, New Jersey. He is a certified radon mitigation specialist and environmental toxicologist. Hello, doctor, and welcome to the show. Hello, how are you doing? Well, you know, I'm concerned. We're hearing that some health physicists and radiation experts agree that most granite countertops emit some radiation and some radon. So the question to you, doctor, is do we need to be concerned? Absolutely. You have to be concerned because these countertops or these granite is coming from Brazil have uh, does emit uh, extremely high concentration of radon or radioactive gas, which can cause lung cancer. All right, so you're saying just the granite from Brazil? Basically, we, ha we have been um, noticing that most of the, the granite uh, emits radiation. It depends on which granite do you have in your house. If suppose if you take in certain granite, every granite emits certain radiation. It depends on how high the concentration of uranium, radium, and phosphate you have in the granite. If you have a high concentration of these three elements in your granite, certainly that granite will emit high concentration of uh, radioactive uh, All right. gas. So the first thing is, I guess we have to get it tested if we're not sure, correct? A absolutely. You must test the radon gas. So you should do two ways. First, you should test your basement that will tell you the source of radon entry coming into your home and then you should test the second floor which is a kitchen that will tell you how much ra radon gas is coming in or emitting from your kitchen uh, or you can say from granite are there safe levels of radon in granite or is it all hazardous to our health well there's no safe number as such the EPA has set as an action level is a four picocuries per liter but at even at four picocuri, that's equivalent to half a pack of smoking. So there is no number, it's a safe number. The lesser number you have it, the better off you will be. All right, so what you're saying is if we have granite in our, in our kitchens, uh, we need to be concerned, we should get it tested, and then if they find it, uh, we need to get rid of it? Absolutely. You must do it. First thing is first is you should do the radon testing in the basement and at the same time radon testing upstairs which is a kitchen but you know some manufacturers say ah oh, you know what this is this is really a lot of bunk you know a lot of people in the marble business say that there's nothing to be concerned about uh, and people like you say there is my question is why are they using granite at all if in fact it is dangerous to our health we know it from the beginning that the marble can marble can emit radioactive gas we know it from a long time it just recently happened in North Jersey uh, there is a physician who bought the house in Lake George in New York. His radon concentration in the basement is six picocuri, and his radon concentration in the in the kitchen is 110 picocuri. Wow! That's how that's how they started this. This they they, they figured out that the um, cause of this high concentration of radon in the kitchen is because of the marble or from the granite. All right. Well, certainly you have uh, enlightened us on this subject, and uh, I know we have it in our home, and now I have to get it tested. Absolutely. <laughs> There's always something to worry about, isn't there? The first thing is first that you must test it your house for radon. All right. That's the first order of business. Dr. Yes. Subhash Rashat, environmental toxicologist, thank you for that. Thank you.